Hi, everyone. Uh, if you remember, this, uh, welcome back to our segments here on, uh, on the fundamentals of the game. In the first segment, we talked a little bit about selecting equipment. In this segment, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, taking care of your equipment. Uh, a cue can be pretty delicate. I, I, we mentioned fiberglass raft shafts. They might hold up really well, but if you get a wood shaft like the one that I have on the cue here, you've got to be very careful because it's very easy for it to get nicked. I recommend, for example, that you place the cue on the table carefully like this. I see people set their cue like this and they, they fall on the floor. Uh, always take real good care of your cue. Take, be careful also in the heat of the summer or the cold of the winter. It really doesn't do your cue a lot of good to sit in a, a freezing trunk or when it's 100 degrees out in the trunk. Uh, do the best you can to, uh, to avoid those uh, kinds of situations. If you should happen to um, nick your shaft, I'll give you a little technique. M many, many nicks uh, can be repaired. You can steam the nick out. Just take a saucepan that has a hole in the, in the uh, cover. Sometimes you can take the uh, knob off. Uh, and that'll create the hole. Put two or three inches of water in there, get it boiling hot, and let the steam hit right on the nick for about 30 seconds. And then check it with some sandpaper, see if it's okay, and maybe try it again. But uh, uh, for a lot of people, these nicks become a real problem. If your uh, shaft gets uh, too beat up, you're going to find yourself in a situation where perhaps it's better, you're better off uh, buying a new one. As far as the uh, uh, Repair, uh, care of your tip is concerned. This little tool right here that you could get at any billiard supply is a good tool to use to keep your tip nicely rounded. You set it at about a 40 feet 5 degree angle, only sand down, don't sand up. Sand down, rotating your tip as you go, and then as you finish up, just kind of come over the top just to get it nicely rounded. This way, you keep a nice rounded tip around the curvature of a nickel, a, dime, a nickel or a dime, as we said, and a nice flat side to your tip and keep it in good shape. Uh, for those of you that make it out to Las Vegas, when you take your equipment out there each year, we have very, very high quality uh, specialists uh, that can, uh, that can keep your equipment in, uh, in real good shape. But um, buying the right equipment and taking care of it, uh, that's taking care of your game. We mentioned these things as part of the fundamentals because you can't really build a solid foundation with faulty materials. And hopefully you'll all end up with a uh, really good cue and that you'll take care of it properly.